here we go. Theodore, the self-proclaimed cardio king, sets a really good pace and is able to keep it. Back up to his feet again. Switching stances here. Oh, he moves right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here. for the KO. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Yeah, look oh, at that. Wow. Oh. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Body kick, look at that. Hurt him with that uppercut. Staying busy. He's landing some serious ground and pound strikes here. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Brilliant job of taking the back. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, gets the takedown there, Joe. That'll work. in the full mount. Awesome control from the top. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Buffalo. Horn uh, sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot. Lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Nice Back and forth we go. Double leg takedown lane. Oh, he's got the arm, Joe, trying to set up an arm bar here. He's looking for an arm bar here in full guard. What he needs to do, first of all, is pin one of the arms down. Then he needs to scoot his hips, underhook the leg, throw his other leg across the face, extend the body, and oh, get the down. An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's going to try to take the back. Got his back here. Just flattened him out. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Back to side control. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Smiling Sam Out. Second round, straight ahead. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point he could change. Oh, oh. Yeah. he's got him here. That's a big look. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Just over three minutes now to go. Dana White gets in the clinch. Yet. This is a huge hook to the head. Oh, that one. Wow. Oh, is that a oh. good shot here? Huge right hand. Oh. 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 Wicked knockout here for the win. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial
martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Closing the distance here. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown, Joe. That's his best shot. Now to full guard. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin. Throws his other leg over. He wants to lock it in place. He's got the knee over the ankle, pins down. He's gonna push that arm sideways across the face. Brilliant submission it. defense there. Inside control here. There's a good shot from the bottom. The elbow is there. Oh, nice job. Elbow. Elbow. That's it. Big ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound. And it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. And ultimately, the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. And let's see that again from another angle. Ready. Here we go. Well, we are sold out tonight, and a big reason why UFC President Dana White is donning the four-ounce gloves. On the other side, they have a lot of confidence coming in here tonight that they can beat Dana White in a boxing match. I would say be careful what you wish. Oh! Oh! He hurt He's got him right here. Oh! Big right hand. Man, these guys are flowing back and oh, forth. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Big straight punch. Body kick, look at that. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Now closes the distance. Gastelum's worked in that all well. Double on the hooks now. Oh, he got cracked. He's going after an arm. He's controlling the forearm. Throws the other leg over the face. He's gonna extend the body. And he's got the arm. Any second now, he might have to tap that. Outstanding. That will do it. Beautiful technique in winning this fight by armbar. Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it. But a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight championship fight between the Bucks, Dana White, and Bruce Buffer.
on this title run. It's not as though he is going to run on through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Martel the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the challenger, Bruce. It's time. Up and now. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Dana Fly. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. And we are underway. Nice. Jump pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. Immediately shoots for the leg. For the early takedown, it is good. No surprise that he wants to get this fight to the canvas early. Covering up, doing an excellent job of stopping the ground and pound. Passes out of half guard and now moves to side control. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here early. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. Another takedown attempt here. Single leg takedown is good. Now the hammer fist here by Buffer. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by UFC President Dana White. Throws the left hand. Tries for a low single. Well, high-level MMA wrestling here as he secures yet another takedown. He's already landed several. I'm starting to lose count. And this is exactly what he said he was going to do. He felt like he had a decided advantage when it came to the wrestling and the grappling. And that's exactly how it's played out thus far. He's got him flattened out. He's got him flattened out here. He's got his back. He's looking for the rear naked choke. From here, what he wants to do is get his forearm under his opponent's chin to get that neck from here. Oh, he lost it. Excellent movement here on the ground. Dana White gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up.
Looking for the high kick. That's a nice clean shot. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. That one hurt. Oh! oh he tagged him! Hit him with the Superman punch. He's got him right here. Big shots! The chest is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. Oh! He's trying to hit Superman punch. How about Big it? Big shots. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Buffer's head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a huge kick that stuns. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect timing on this punch. And here's a huge, perfectly placed punch that lands with devastating impact. Look at you there. All right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. Second round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Look at that. Nice. How about that chin? <laughs> Buffer's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move oh, forward. Good oh, he's, oh, good. he's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Now they're both throwing with power. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes. He oh! tagged him. He got hurt very, very badly. Oh! He's getting tagged. Nice elbow. Dana White gets pounded, and it's the elbow. volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your death. Oh, he nailed him! He is oh. over. He's out! Huge hook that got him the victory. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. And here we see the stunning turn of events that led to our new champion. Here's the shot that lands. Boom! And we have a new champion. Absolutely spectacular knockout. And let's go to a different angle. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Ruth so some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see.
New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division, and it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.